Tokyo 5. You know that cooking on the outdoor grill isn't automatically a guy's game, but according to our foodie friends at Orson Gigi, women don't know and often ask about the grilling basics of, say, a simple steak. So that tutorial finds its way in today's Project Corner. outside of Orson Gigi, do, ready to do some grilling. Um, this is our favorite time of year because we can cook outside where it's quick and easy and always makes the neighbors quite jealous. Uh, first, you want to start out with a great piece of meat. One of my favorites is the New York strip. Um, you can get it in different thicknesses, so when you go to see the butcher, make sure you get at least a one to one and a half inch thick. Once you take it out of the fridge, that's a perfect time to trim your meat because while it's cold, the fat will cut off really quickly. Um, and then once it's set out for 10 to 15 minutes, that's when you can start to grill. If you grill your meat while it's cold, you're gonna get inconsistent heating throughout your meat. So sometimes you'll have some hot spots and some cold spots. So you'll wanna start with your meat, room temperature and ready to go. And so if you buy a really nice piece of meat, the only seasoning that you're really gonna need is some good kosher salt and some salt and pepper. This is not a time to be bashful with your salt. You can press it in if you'd like, and make sure you get all that good salt flavor on there. And then some really nice cracked pepper. You can flip it over, get the other side, and that will be ready to go out on the grill. So once you're out to your grill, you're gonna make sure that it's really, really hot. So we've got it here at 400 degrees. Here we've got a paper towel soaked in some oil. This is what we're gonna grease our grill with. And you can just wipe that across there, wherever you're gonna do any cooking, and that will help ensure that it's not gonna stick. From there, we're gonna set our steak right across there. Ooh, can you hear that sizzle? Now, one mistake a lot of people do is continually flip your steak. You'll wanna put this on there, leave it two to three minutes, and then flip it over to the other side. So that was about two to three minutes. Once you do that, you can close the oven. One of my favorite tips, too, is for finishing salt. This is a smoked sea salt. So if you're looking for some of that really smoky flavor, you can add that just right at the end. Um, you can also throw a little butter on there to make it extra creamy and delicious. But those are some things that will just elevate your flavors and, and give your taste buds a fun trip. From there, you've got to let it rest. And so cover it with some foil and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. That's going to help ensure that you keep all the juices inside. Nice and juice. All, the, all that juice is running off. It's wonderful. Okay, how cute is Heather? We love her. And that's just a taste to get you started with outdoor cooking this year. You really ought to join the experts at Gigi for their grilling gala. It's coming up the second weekend in June. It's a free event, and it's held right outside the Gigi Kitchen store. So stop by. It's scheduled for Saturday, June 10th from 10 o'clock to 